Well, it can be the only thing that stands between an allergic reaction and death. But if you're looking for EpiPens in Chicago, good luck. They are out of stock at major pharmacies with no shipments on the way. Roseanne Tejas has your alternatives. 14-year-old Natalie Hultquist will head back to school with you books, actually, supplies, and because of food allergies, epinephrine injectors. AviQ brand after a close call trying to get an EpiPen when she was away at camp. I opened my purse and I saw the set that I knew she normally carries. Mom called the pharmacies near camp. It was pretty frantic because they were closing in 15 minutes and she was 20 minutes away. But the pharmacies were out. The ripple effect was um, tremendous, a lot of time, a lot of stress. Um, it, it would have been alleviated if the EpiPen was available and it just wasn't. Pfizer, which manufactures EpiPens, told us the company continues to experience manufacturing constraints. We cannot guarantee that product will be available. The timing couldn't be worse. When kids go back to school, this is when we usually give them their refills. Many are turning to AviQ. Push firmly until you hear a click and hiss sound. You won't find them at Walgreens or CVS, and they may not be covered by your insurance. But Holdquist, who also started a resource app for people with food allergies called Spoken, says ask your doctor and you can get them for free. It's a specialty pharmacy that AveQ works with, and it's in New Jersey, so they ship it to you within 24 hours. I'll give one a uh, set to the nurse, and she'll put my name on a plastic bag, and then I'll keep it there for the year in case I'm an emergency and hack on wood. <laughs> well, AviQ was recalled back in 2015 because of malfunctioning injectors, but they're back and this time they're free as long as you have insurance or make under $100,000 a year. And that all came about after EpiPen maker Mylan outraged the public by raising the price of EpiPens from about $100 in 2009 to more than $600 in 2016. In the newsroom, Roseanne Teus, CBS 2 News. Rob, Erica? Yeah, not having those EpiPens can be a frightening prospect, Roseanne. They are critically important. Yes, they are. Thanks.